What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here in The Sims 4. So I am still on my cottage living kick. I will not be drifting away from this pack anytime soon. The next couple of speed builds will all be still using co mostly cottage living. I mean, I'm gonna get to a point where I'm, I stop using most of the cottage living objects and I just, you know, furnish the house. Um, using all of the objects, but right now I'm still like using mostly cottage living stuff There will be a point where I'll like stop doing that, but I'm still going to be building in Hinford on Bagley uh, Just because I'm in love with this world. I'm in love with building in this style. I really like it It's definitely something different, but I really really enjoy it um, I started building after this I, I finished this build and I started building something else and on the empty lot that comes with the pack. And I think I only have one, two, I think I only have, th I have like three or four lots left to do and I've renovated this entire world. <laughs> so I may do that and then you could possibly fill your entire world with all of my Hinford on Bagley builds if you want. I'm not telling you to do that. It's just if you want to, but um, you should do it. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Um, but yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun building with this pack. Uh, if you haven't started watching my Let's Play, uh, my Cottage Living Let's Play, I you know, suggest you check that out. I'm having fun with it. I'm only on part two, and I only just started doing the actual like cottage living part of it, like with farming and animals and crops and stuff. But I am having a lot of fun. I can't speak on the gameplay a lot just yet because, again, I'm only on part two. But anyway, <laughs> the let's talk about this build. So the shell of the house, as you can see, has come together. I've picked the wallpapers, the roof, everything. Uh, I put some platforms going up kind of the side of the house and the front. Um, so the front is the smaller platforms and then the side is the bigger platforms and those platforms actually end up being off of the bedroom. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that guys. I guarantee you, you heard Duke barking. Um, he's the new puppy if I, if you don't know or if this is your first video of me talking about him. But um, yeah, so what I was saying is those bigger platforms off to the side of the house is coming off of the bedroom. And as you can probably tell by the title, I am building this for a grandmother who is probably widowed. Um, her husband, I don't know if he died or left her or I don't know, but she is single and ready to mingle. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think she's like sad about his like obviously she's still sad about his death if he died um but like it's not something she is still currently crying about every single day of her life I imagine it happened you know years and years and years ago and maybe they lived in a big house and they had you know three kids and they lived in a four to five bedroom house and you know, she decided she didn't want to live in a big house alone anymore, and she didn't need to be spending, you know, a crap ton of money on bills. So she bought some land up by the waterfall and built herself this secluded um, cottage. And we love that for Grandma. We love that for her. Um, this is a one-bedroom house, so it can only fit her. There is a double bed in her room so I mean if she if she wants to have a love interest she can we love that for her um, yeah but not really any space for the grandkids to come and spend the night no space for anyone to come and spend the night at all like the living room is small I mean it's this is her house she lives here by herself and that's it I do give her a dog or I put stuff in the house for a dog you don't see me do it on camera though um, but I end up putting a food bowl in, I end up putting a food bowl in the living room and I end up putting a doggy bed in the bedroom. You just won't see me do it. Um, and ignore this little patch of greenery, greenery right here. Um, I didn't, I ended up deleting it cause I just didn't like how it was like on the edge of the lot like that. So I do end up getting rid of that completely and just leaving it as grass. Um, but yeah. A majority, the, I think, I'm pretty sure the majority of this build is landscaping because there's a lot of it. I do do 
a lot of it off camera because there's going to be a crap ton of it at the back of the build. There's going to be a crap ton of it to the side of the build. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot. Uh, I just don't remember how much of it I do on camera. So yeah, there's going to be landscaping all up under those those two trees I just placed in the front here. And right now I'm looking for this like little uh, small little awning or pergola or gazebo. I don't know what you'd actually call it. Uh, trellis, I think is the actual term for it. So it's this one right here, which is from Island Living. Uh, I was originally looking for a different one. It but the one I was thinking of was from Jungle Adventure because the Jungle Adventure one has like a little worn, like a like a swatch on it that looks a little worn out. But I ended up keeping the one from uh, Island Living. And I end up just putting like a seating area under there. I really wanted it to have something that was like playable. Um, like you could actually go under there. And, like you could actually take your Sims under that and like have something playable under it. Like, I don't know, like a flower arranging station or something like that but I end up just putting like a little small seating area um, more landscaping as you can see uh, I am or I did add a kind of like a deck in the back it's not really a deck because um, I feel like when you say deck a deck is made out of wood <laughs> that's more of like a, a proper porch area um, and then this is just me making a pathway to that little trellis or awning or pergola or whatever you want to call it. And then right here, I'm mapping out where I'm going to put the rest of the landscaping. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of landscaping. Uh, and I guess I do actually do it on camera. <laughs> I thought I didn't, but I guess for some reason I wanted you to see me doing all of this landscaping. It was a lot of fun to do this landscaping. But when I got to this point of it, I was really just placing stuff randomly and trying to fill up all the dirt spots because <laughs> it was a lot of landscaping. That's one thing that I've been having a lot of fun with with this pack is all of the lush landscaping. I think on every single lot, <clears throat> excuse me, the dogs are like doing everything. Um, I think on every single lot so far that I've built with this pack, I've done like very, very lush landscaping. And I like it. I really like it. This pack definitely comes with a fantastic de debug that makes doing lush landscaping like that really easy. And over here, I just put two trees and then I'm putting a little, like some stuff that you see kind of behind the lot just to kind of blend it in. I could have kind of like branched off the pathway back there and put another seating area or a fountain or even a pond. But I was just like, nah, this lot, can be pretty simple um, and I'll just leave it at it as is uh, before you before I bulldoze this lot like the the lot that comes the house that comes on this lot when you first load up the game does have a chicken coop on it so I could have put a chicken coop over there but I wasn't thinking the grandmother really had time for that she just wanted to be out here by herself not having to take care of kids or animals or anything just her and her lonesome. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. We're into the interior now, obviously. It's kind of like a galley kitchen. If you don't know what that is, it's a longer, it's a long skinny kitchen, um, which I feel like really works for old homes like this or like old cottages. I feel like they would have um, like galley kitchens like this. And yeah, <laughs> I, there is a fireplace in the kitchen. It's more, it's, it's a wood burner. Um, I imagine maybe this is an older home and it doesn't have central heating so there's going to be a fireplace in the living room and in the kitchen there's not one in the bedroom but it is what it is <laughs> uh, i don't put a thermostat in this build as a matter of fact i didn't put a thermostat in any of my builds using this new pack <laughs> and now that i think about it I, I didn't put fire alarms in any of my builds either <laughs> So if you downloaded any of my cottage living builds, please put a fire alarm so your Sims don't like burn down the house. <laughs> I mean, obviously the game is gonna notify you if there's a fire on the lot and you could just extinguish it, but still. Um, but yeah, the kitchen's pretty much done. I will clutter it up later. The That was the dining room. It's just a small dining room because it's just her. Maybe she does have her little elder friends come over and they play cards at the dining room table or something like that but mostly it's just her 
she maybe she does have you know a boyfriend or two that comes to visit and sits at the dining room table who knows uh but this is the living room so i'm finally using that um fireplace that i haven't used yet with the new pack um but i used it because again i felt like this was an older home and that one kind of looks older and it's looks like it's built from out of wood and bricks or something but um and I don't give her a TV. I don't put a TV on this lot, but I do. There is going to be a computer in her bedroom. It's not really a computer. It's the typewriter that came with this pack. But the way computers work in The Sims, it's gonna it's gonna have the same functionality as a regular computer. It's just gonna look like a typewriter. Um, yeah, we get a bookcase in here, console table. I think I put a mirror above this, and then we're gonna clutter it up. Uh, there's two extra seats in here because she only has one couch and there really wasn't any room for like a second couch or anything like a love seat. So I put the this one, the cats and dogs one behind the kind of main couch and then another base game one off to the side of the fireplace. Um, one thing I didn't put in here was the knitting, the knitting box or the cross stitching box. Um, and I really should have that. The only reason I didn't is because I was completely a hundred percent done with the build, like taking the screenshots before I kind of thought about who this house could be for. As I was building it, I wasn't really sure who it was going to be for. Um, so I didn't know that I, I didn't know that it was going to be for a grandma that could like cross stitching, but, um, and she probably she probably knits and not cross stitches because with the cross stitches with the cross stitching you would have to she if she doesn't have a llama which this lot doesn't she would have to go and buy the animal shed <laughs> she would have to go and buy the llama shed and she probably wouldn't want to do that but i mean i guess technically with the knitting she would have to go out and buy yarn too but i don't know <laughs> uh anyway what did i just furnish i don't know the bedroom? Yeah, I did the bedroom. No. I don't know. I didn't I haven't done the bedroom yet. Wait a second. Have I done the bedroom yet? <laughs> no, actually I haven't done the bedroom. Uh I did the entrance hall. So in there I just kind of put like a clothes hanging thing and a corner moment, a plant. And then I put a little uh it's a it's like it look it's like a little closet. It came with get to it came with get to work and I just kind of stuck that in there. I don't think I did it off camera cuz I couldn't. I mean, I don't think I did it on camera cuz I couldn't find it. Uh but this is the bedroom. So using the new bed from the pack and a swatch I hadn't used yet. Um I'm starting to really enjoy this dresser from Cats and Dogs. I actually really love it and it works really well with this pack. Um the reason why I'm kind of using black a lot in this room is because of the black, uh, excuse me, like the black railing on the bed. I kind of don't like that they only have black and white railings for the bed. I guess it's, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't look right if it was like brown because then it could look like a rusted bed railing or something. But yeah, I just brought some black into the room because of the black railing on the bed. Uh, putting in a bookcase from Cats and Dogs, and then over here is where the desk is going to go, and I'm going to give her the typewriter, put a candle, putting some candles around, and some other clutter bits. Um, what else do I do in this room? I think that's it for this room. I can't really tell what we're going to go do next, but just putting some pictures up. Uh, oh, we're going to clutter up the kitchen. So I was going to put a microwave, but there was no good place for it. Uh, gave her a coffee machine. And then I realized I forgot a stove. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but I 100% did. And I just switched uh, where I had the stove. I put the stove where I had the sink. And I kind of like that the sink is now in front of a window because I feel like that's realistic. Um, for some reason, the for some reason stuff started glitching out because you're gonna see like as I play as I'm trying to alt place that tea bag object that uh that picture object keeps disappearing so I, I don't know I had move objects turned on 
I don't know what was going on. Sometimes my game just does stuff like that. I don't know if other people's does, but... And then sometimes I'll go to place stuff, and it'll tell me, like, objects can't be intersected with other objects. And I'm like, with move objects, they can, so why isn't it working? So I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes. I have no idea. But this is the back porch, uh, putting some lights. And then I get, I do give her planter boxes, so maybe she does plant a few things here and there. Gave her a picnic table. I give her a grill that maybe she threw together herself. <laughs> Um, flower arranging station, a trash can, and then with that little extra space, I put another flower box. And then I was like, let's put some planters on the window. So I do that. I'm just going to change the color to a more, a darker kind of wood tone. Um, not too much darker, but it changed the flower color of the flowers too. I'm putting some lights around and that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I don't think I do anything else. Oh yeah, I'm giving her a rocking chair and then I'm also gonna furnish underneath that uh, under here, which again is just a seating area. But the screenshots are about to start rolling. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will always respond to your comments and please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it and I will see you all then. Bye guys.